My name is Terry. Today I'll be talking to you guys about racism and police brutality. Now, some people may know that the police's job is to serve and protect people, but but this but this claim is not accurate at this time. You see, the police the policemen are the ones who are actually causing the crime and they and killing these innocent people. And then I and then I say I think that is wrong. The police are supposed to serve and protect, no matter what the race is. It could be black, it could be white, it could be Indian, any, any race is fine. Most of the crimes of the police are coming from unnecessary acts of violence. They are killing, they are killing innocent people without no remorse. They keep on doing it, and they're not showing no type of emotion. So the thing I have to say is, does the policeman have any heart? Does he even care? Or does he just hate? That, that is some of the questions you should be asking. For example, on the CNN student news, which is, well, by the way, is available on the internet. The CNN student news, a black, a black female who happens to be in high school was severely brutalized by a policeman because she didn't turn on her phone. And I thought to myself, what kind of, what kind of man would put his hands on a girl? But so, it turns out the man was a bodybuilder. He had been with the force for seven years. <coughs> this crime happened because the girl ain't turning her phone. It was his fault on behalf of even putting his hand on her. He could have talked to her and things would have went on south. Well, the south would stand for the good side and the uh, east would stand for the left side. So it is his fault for even putting his hand on her. But it's her fault for even for not even listening to the teachers at first. You see, the thing that most of us don't understand is, no matter who the authority figure is, we need to learn how to, we just need to learn how to listen better. We need to learn how to obey. And of course, it, I don't really think it was because of the race. I think he was just mad about something. But yet, I want. But but yet, I wonder why. How, how has this been going on? He was being saying. Well, okay, well, according to the internet, people like it's been going on for over seven years right now, and I am a person who wants to stand up for it. So many people in the past have tried standing up to it, but they always came up short. I am Terry Draper. Want to stand up for any, for all the innocent people, for all the people who died for no reason, for just, just for all the people who was killed by unnecessary acts of violence. And I say I want this brutality, police stuff to stop right here and right now. So join someone, even if it's your person right next to you. Join that person and start a program to say stop. No more violence. Because I love Chicago with all my heart. All these innocent people, like Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Oscar Jones, Trayvon Martin, and others before them has died because of police brutality. Those that my family has experienced it, they families had to. The families, the, the family of the person the people who have been killed, it has left a scar on their heart. Not only has they lost a person, they lost their family members. Police brutality, all these individuals lost their lives to racism and remorseless policemen. The, the thing these individuals have in common is they were all African Americans. And the thing I want you all to keep in mind is, is this racist? Of course it's racist because all these African Americans, because all these bitches were African Americans, and all of them were killed by white policemen. Though Martin Luther King has a I have a dream street, racism, racism has never has never stopped seeing, seeing. It stopped for a while, but then it continued to go on. 
But now it's going on in the form of American uh, policemen abusing that power. The thing I like you all, you guys, to think about is the question, what is the purpose of them doing this? To show off, to act or seem tough, but this plain hate. And I, and I, Terry Draper, I want to take action and, and I want to do what I say I want to do. And I'm going to believe in myself. And, I, and I'm going to stop this right now. So I want all of you guys, let me tell you.